morning guys um today is vlogmas day eight <laughs> um it's almost nine o'clock in the morning as you can see <laughs> and we're getting ready to go to devon or devon jesse's uh doctor appointment well it's we don't have to leave for about another hour but i'm getting ready to wake devon up and then he can take a shower and all that stuff and i can get jesse ready oh my nose is congested again mama yeah what yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. We're gonna go bye bye in a little while, but not right now. <clears throat> I also gotta run to the store at some point and go to my mom's at some point. <laughs> um, I might film a little bit at the doctor's office, but not after he gets a shot. Obviously, I don't want him crying on camera. That's gonna be mean. But um, I was just hopping on to say good morning and. Mama. Yeah, I'm gonna wake Devin up in like five, four, blah, 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 five minutes. Mama. Hi, Bubba. What's up? I changed his mind. No, you don't need those. Leave them alone. You don't need them. Those are for other people. Yeah, car. Yeah. I'm gonna say he's gonna run right by the, right to the door. Jesse. This is his last shot for a while, you know. Until next. Mm. You mean this Oscar? Like Thirty foot off the floor. I love you. Hey, so cute, suckers. Okay, it is uh, one um twenty-five. I don't forget. I was just looking at it. <clears throat> I'm, trying to I'm watching Karen Hills. <laughs> Um, Jesse is at my mom's now. He did get at his appointment. He's, um, advanced in everything as usual. He's always in the 100 percentile height and weight because he's big. And, you know, everything's fine with him. He got his shot and he cried, but he didn't, it wasn't too bad. He calmed down pretty quick because we had some paper and a pen there because he likes to scribble. <clears throat> we did a little bit of grocery shopping and, um, went to the post office and I got a package from a viewer, which is really cool. Um, I'll talk about it more on my other video. Well, I guess I'll talk about it now. Because it's not really, you know, it's not yarn related other than it's just sent to a person who does crochet from a person who does crochet. But it's from, I'm not going to talk about it a lot, you know, I don't want to give my personal information, but it's from Ireland, which is really cool. <clears throat> and her name is Helen. She sent me a really nice card and a gift for Jesse and a gift for me and an extra little thing. And, um, we probably should have waited until Christmas to open it because it's, I think it was meant to be Christmas presents. But, uh, I'm not going to wait till Christmas to open a package that comes to me in the mail. And she got me Santa socks, which are fuzzy socks, which are my favorite socks ever. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. That might just be ironic that that happened or I might have actually mentioned it. I don't know. But I love fuzzy socks. I actually have some look almost just like this, but they're gray and white striped, but they don't have Santa on them. So that's awesome. And then she sent Jesse an adorable I mean, lay it out shirt that he will be wearing Christmas Day. Look at it. It's so cute and it's just perfect for him. It'll fit him perfectly for a while too probably. <clears throat> My throat. <laughs> but it's so awesome and if you're watching this thank you so much for it and you didn't have to send anything and uh, I don't want people to think that I want them to send me stuff I put the um I'm afraid it's too loud I put the P.O. box in the description not for you guys to send me packages and stuff but for letters and things because I used to I've mentioned it before in one of my videos I used to pen pal um <clears throat> when I was in my teens or my, 20, my early 20s I don't remember and it was just so fun to send letters and cards back and forth and get them. Especially get them. I love getting real mail. Like, real mail is so much better than a message on 
the internet, you know, like an email. Not that I won't respond to emails, but I, I like physical. Like this card, I will keep this forever. And this shirt <clears throat> will go into Jesse's baby box after he's worn it for this Christmas. With his first Christmas outfit, his first Thanksgiving outfit, his first Halloween outfit, and his outfit that we brought him home in the hospital in. Plus a other, couple other ones that other people bought him that are special or that I just really liked and couldn't stand to get rid of. But, um, I'm so excited. Devin, when I, I came out of the post office, I was like, I got something from Ireland. And, um, I had no idea what it was. And I was shaking it even coming out to the car. And he's like, and I was, when I opened it and I read that it was from a viewer, I was like, I was talking to Devin about how cool it was because he was in the car with me. And he said, whoa, you got friend mail. <laughs> and I was like, well, I guess it's kind of friend mail, but it's more like friend mail. Because I consider all my viewers friends, not fans, because that's just weird. I'm not famous, but it's just so cool. And I can't, this is my first Christmas card, too, of the season. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I got another one from someone. I technically got one from uh, Hannah in that Get Your Yarn Wish Granted, but it wasn't a Christmas card. It had a unicorn on it. This is the first actual Christmas thing done. So now I gotta figure out where I want to hang them. Because I hadn't thought that far. No one sent me. Like, even my family members have not sent me Christmas cards. Y'all slacking. I know my sister watches this. And she has photo ones. So, I need one. <clears throat> I procrastinated and didn't get, had time to get them made, um, this year. Let me pause the TV because it's, it's gonna be loud. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, my nose is messing up again because it's cold. Anyways. I babbled about that but that's so awesome and Helen thank you so much you didn't have to send gifts but I'm glad that you you know did like I'm glad how does I say this <laughs> I'm appreciative that you sent them and I know Jesse will love that shirt I, I told David I was like I should not open Jesse's I should let him open it but I had to see what it was he's at his grandma's I don't know if I said that he's at my mom's because she hasn't got to watch him in a while <clears throat> but he's gonna be so cute in that and I will take pictures and there'll probably be videos of him wearing it and um Thank you for the card, for sure. I love this card. I'll keep it forever. And the envelope and all that. <laughs> and, um, I do intend to send something back, like a card or something. I want to be the kind of person who responds to everything. I got something. I got to send Hannah's, too. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. And I really need to do that now for the post office. It's, like, overwhelmed with Christmas people. But, um, <clears throat> I think that's everything that I was going to say about that. <laughs> And uh, it's just totally awesome that you cared enough to send something to someone you've never met. You just see me on here, you know, and you don't know me from Adam. But since Jesse's gone, the house is a mess. There are toys everywhere. There's alphabet on the floor. And um, so I'm going to clean the house up really quick. Somewhat. I guess I'll pick up all the toys and sweep and stuff. And then I need to work on my crochet talk video for tomorrow. And it's not going to be interesting at all this week because I haven't gotten anything done. I did start a hat last night, but I literally got two and a half rolls into it before Jesse got tired and wanted to go that night. <clears throat> and then I went to bed right after he went to bed. So after I clean up a little bit, I'm going to get on. After I do that, after I film my next video, I think, I will. I'm going to go pattern hunting. I'm going to find something. I want to start a blanket that is made in motifs like this one. Because then I can just sit around and make a motif when I have the time. And then after I get them all, I can, <coughs> excuse me, I can piece them all together or I can do it as I go. And I want to make me, I want to finish that hat for me. I don't know if I need another hat, but okay. <laughs> and I want to find some more amigurumis to make, because I love making amigurumis. And I thought about making some, like this ornament, right, how do I point, right there. The Christmas pudding I made the other day. That'll actually be on the episode later. I want to make something like that for... The people that I will give Christmas cards to that are local. Um, I want to do an ornament swap, by the way. If I'm still doing YouTube next year, which I hope to be, you know, if nothing bad happens or whatever, I might organize an ornament swap because it'd be so cool to send homemade ornaments. Ah! <laughs> it's hard to ever try to go to people and get them. That'd be so cool. But, um, anyways, I want to make, like, maybe not all Christmas put ins, but, like, I would like to make my brother, my sister, my mom. Maybe my in-laws. I don't know, just a few to send to the people that I'm with all the time. Just so that they can have a homemade ornament. And there's my mistletoe. I think he looks like a turnip, though. I think I mentioned that, but he looks like a turnip. 
Anyways, I'm going to hop off of here and clean up a little bit. And uh, I might montage some of it. And uh, you, you'll be able to see the new couch and love seat in better lighting. Because last night it was dark, obviously. And I need to pluck the tree up now that I'm home. Because I like having the Christmas lights on. But I'll see you in the next clip or the next video, whichever comes next. <laughs>